Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to continue working on our 2010 Club Car President. And today is the X-Ray. That's right, we're going to be installing the X-Ray Speedometer. Well, I call it a speedometer, but it does a lot of things. It tells you the voltage of your battery, whether it's a 12, all the way up to a 48 volt. It tells you the temperature of the air, the distance you've driven, the time, I think it tells you just about everything. According to this, it's 66 degrees in here. It's right. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing mounted on that car. Okay, the first thing I've done is went and got all the hardware spread out so that I know exactly what goes where. I've got the hardware here to mount the speedometer. I've got the hardware here to help mount the speedometer cable. I've got the cable over here that tells us the voltage of our battery pack and of course here this actually tells us the temperature of the motor yes it even does that but the first thing we want to look at doing here is assembling the speedometer to the column first thing we want to do is to go ahead and put all the wires through the bracket now on the back side here we'll have the large openings we'll take the rubber grommets Put them in. Then we have these red bushings. They'll go in, or guides. And now we'll take the smaller bolts that have the Allen head. Nope, wrong one. The smallest bolt with the Allen head. Put it through. And this will actually screw into the back of the speedometer. We'll get both of these mounted and take it over to the car. Okay, now to mount this bracket, there's a steering wheel column with the top and bottom portions there. It will be loose. Then you get the longer bolts with a flat washer. We'll put it through the underside, screwing it into the upper portion. Now you will have two shorter ones that will actually screw into the top portion for us to do the final tightening. We're going to get it in there, just get it snug, but not tight yet because I want to go ahead and run all my wires from here down the steering wheel column into the opening and get our cover on before we tighten it down into its final position. Okay. I've got all the connections done here. Now I will have one extra connection at the top that will not be used. If this was a gas model, then there would be an extra wire there to actually put on there to check your spark plugs. So I've got everything on here. I've got the wires ran on top of the steering column. Now for the cover, I'll just spread it open and slowly tuck all the wires inside. and just let it go right over the steering column. Perfect. Now I can actually tighten this down into place where it won't be turning. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is go and get the ends of the cable that come from the speedometer and we're gonna run our to a battery pack first. So, I'll cl clip back the ends, run the wire and go ahead and butt connect it. Then I'm going to wrap it up with some tape. Best way to do this would be doing it with some solder and a uh, heat shrink to go over. But with this one, we're just going to butt connect. Now, let's put the car into tow and then connect these up. Well, now that we've got the voltage indicator wires hooked up to the batteries, and it's got a good reading, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and run the motor wire, or the motor temperature wire. We're going to connect the extension cable up. Now I'm going to tuck it down in the frame and run it to the back, and we're going to mount this in to the field winding bolt. So, let's get this thing tucked away, get to the back so I can mount this. 
Okay, now that we've got the wire ran under the car here, we're going to go back here to these are the two field winding bolts on this side. What we'll do is I've got tape to put over, so I'm actually going to take this one loose. Oh. Put the, this through there and tighten her back up. Then we'll go get the heat shield tape that come along with the kit and wrap over it. Okay, now what we need to do is actually hook up the speedometer section. We have this cable that's coming down from our x-ray display, and this has got to come here, and we've got all sorts of different little brackets that can be used to mount this. We have different clamps that they give with us. The smaller one will go around the uh, spindle itself. The larger one, if you have a hub assembly, that the back portion goes out further, you can actually put this around it, use one of these other brackets to mount this bolt here because this one bolt has a magnet. This bolt has to get within a quarter inch of this cable to register our speed. On this particular one here, since it does have a short back, what we're going to do is put the sharp end or the cut off corner towards the back side like this i'm going to mark it or actually use my drill bit go through this hole and we're going to drill through this aluminum so that it will actually mount like this in doing that i'll have that stationary i can use this bracket and this clamp and go around this way so that this cable will stick out and get real close to this as it goes around. So all I gotta do now is get this out of the way. I'm gonna mount it like this. And put me a little a hole back here with a little marking spot. Now that I got the hole drilled we'll be using this Allen head screw. Now if we see, it's got a chamfer on it. Well, I want to put a chamfer on this. So what I'm going to do now is to come back with a 3 8 drill bit and put just a little chamfer in here just so that that will sit flush and we get out of the way of our wheel when we sit it on. Nice. Okay, now for our speedometer cable. Gotta find a bracket. Let's try this one. It would work good. Yeah, that would work real good right there. We want it to come within right around a quarter inch of each other. It doesn't matter that it's at an angle. It does not have to be straight on. So if I mount it like that, I can use the clamp provided in the kit. It'll work good. Okay. So let me get this mounted. Okay, now that I've got that in there. I don't have it tightened down real good yet just because I have to move it. Now we want to move our jam nut up. Try to align it. Ooh, that's pretty close. Much better. Now put the other jam nut on it. Now I got the jam nuts just snug up on here. Now I need to move the hub backwards and forwards. That way we can check the magnetism between the two pieces onto the display so that we can make sure that we're getting close enough. If we're not picking up anything, I can adjust either the nut and bolt here 
on the hub or this portion here on the cable to move it back and forth. Remember, once again, we want to get about a quarter inch to close. Then I'll come back and put some tie straps all up here and get this cable out of our way. Well, I hope today's video was helpful. It's showing you how to install the X-ray speedometer in the little book that comes with it, starting on page 40 and it goes to about 61, shows you how to do all the settings to set the speedometer, the clock, all that good stuff. Remember, all the parts and accessories we install here are available for purchase on our website, DIYGolfCart.com. Don't forget to look us up on Facebook and like us. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.